Hi, my name's Adrian, and I'm here from the Imagination Station. And today we're going to talk about tinkering with noise-making devices. The noise-making devices that we're going to talk about today all share one thing in common. They all vibrate. So let's get started, and I'll show you what I mean. The straw oboe is one of the simplest instruments to make. All you really need is a straw and a pair of scissors. And any straw will do. I have paper straws, plastic straws, big straws, little straws, any color straws. They all work. But first, let me show you how you cut this. Snip off the end to a point, and then you can even cut off the top to make it so it's flat instead of pointed. Then all you need to do is blow. If you curl your lips in so they cover your teeth, and then put it, the straw in your mouth and squeeze a little bit with your lips. You may have to move the straw in and out to find just a sweet spot, but a little gentle blow should get your tips vibrating. As the air rushes through the straw, the high pressure outside the straw pushes the sides of the reeds inward, closing off the flow. The pressure then builds inside the straw and pops the reed open again. This happens again and again very quickly, causing it to vibrate and make a noise. It's a one note instrument, but if you shorten the length of the straw, you can play a scale. Just watch. This is a sound sandwich. It's very easy to make. You only need a few things to make one. A pops some popsicle sticks, a few pieces of soda straw, a couple of rubber bands. Let me show you how to make one. First, you have a popsicle stick with a rubber band around it. Then you take one piece of straw and you put it underneath the rubber band. You take the other straw, put it on top of the rubber band. And then, this is the sandwich part, you take the other popsicle stick and put it on top like a sandwich. Then all you have to do is secure the ends of the popsicle stick so that it holds it all together with a few twists and you're done. The air passes through the popsicle sticks, the rubber band begins to vibrate and that's what generates the sound. Whether you inhale or exhale, the air still passes over the rubber band, causing it to vibrate. So with practice, you can get different tones by blowing hard or blowing soft, moving the straws in and out to make the rubber band longer or shorter, or by squeezing the popsicle stick to tighten and loosen the space between the popsicle sticks, like this. This is the Membranophone. This is a little trickier to make, but you only need a few things. A soda straw, an old pop bottle, an old balloon, a little piece of duct tape, and some sort of tube. I'm using a PVC pipe, but you can use cardboard or construction paper rolled up to make a tube. Now the first step to this, and you may want to get an adult to help you, is to cut the end off a pop bottle. So you can use scissors, or if you like, you can use something like a razor blade, but scissors work perfectly well. And you just try to cut that off as straight as you can, like so. We need to make a hole for the straw, and I'm gonna do it with a hole punch. You can do it using a nail or a pointy stick to get through the plastic. The next step now is to add the balloon or the membrane. This is where the membranophone gets its name. Now the first thing you want to do is to take the balloon and to cut the balloon just below the neck of the balloon, straight across, and you can discard this part 
And this part here is the part that we're gonna stretch over the bottom of the bottle. Now that the membrane has been stretched over the top, we've inserted the straw into the hole that we made with the hole punch earlier. Now we can take a rolled up piece of cardstock and insert it in the neck of the bottle and then gently blow. Now that you have your membrane foam built, there's so many things to explore. As I said before, you can try different materials for your tube, like the PVC pipe. You can use different lengths. I've placed three holes towards the bottom that I can cover up with my fingers to make different notes. Also, the amount of tension used against the balloon, the strength of your breath as you blow, and holding your hand at the top of the neck to keep air from escaping, all can change the tone as it comes through the membrane of phone. So if you like this activity today, there's a lot more on our website at imaginationstationtoledo.org. And don't forget, keep tinkering. <laughs>